Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Tonight, and this is the review of the Resurrection Remix ROM for the Galaxy S6 Edge. First of all, the ROM looks beautiful and runs the latest Android Pie, and also uses one of the latest security patch, that is the January security patch. The ROM comes with two launchers, but you would most likely use the Pixel launcher for the new and minimalist feel. The Pixel launcher comes with the Pixel icon as well. The ROM feels snappy and coupled with reducing the animation scale further augments the experience. To reduce the animation scale, just enable developers options, go into it, scroll down and you will find animation scale, reduce them to 0.5x. The ROM also has the great feature of UI changing colors according to the wallpaper, which looks and feels amazing. The ROM comes with audio effects and it is a nice little accessory but does not compare to the full effect of Viper for Android. I have already made a video about installing Viper for Android on your Galaxy S6 Edge and the best settings for Viper for Android and link to both videos will be up in the cards. The ROM comes with a browser which looks a lot like Chrome and works great. The camera application once again lacks modes and you are better off using another application from Play Store. The ROM does not come with Google applications, so you will have to install them separately. I've already made a video about it and link to the video will be up in the cards. But remember to install the Google apps right after you flash the ROM and before the first boot up. The fingerprint sensor is working and is fast. The most annoying thing about the ROM is that even on standby, the soft touch keys appears to be active and touching them gives haptic feedback which in turn reduces the battery life. Speaking of battery life, it is not that great. Given that S6 Edge is an old phone and you might probably have a lot of cycles on the battery. The battery saver seems to work great. And for the Volt EE user, this ROM is not for you. A stock Android on Galaxy devices will most probably never support Volt EE. Going into the settings, you can see Resurrection Tools. To customize the ROM, you can customize all sorts of things here. You also have digital well-being, which shows stats regarding what all you have done and which apps are used for how much time. It also has wind down, which is sort of a do not disturb mode. So would I recommend this ROM? Seeing that the ROM is very snappy, I would recommend this ROM. Granted. You are not a Volt EE user and you can find a way to disable the soft touch keys on standby. So guys, I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel. And do follow me on Instagram as well. This is Chetanesh Nuria, signing off.